On the eve of becoming the world's newest republic, Barbados prepares to swear in its first president as it loses Queen Elizabeth as the head of state. And I'm in National Heroes Square in Bridgetown, where the party is well underway as we head towards the presidential inauguration. Prince Charles joins the celebrations as Barbados officially becomes the world's newest republic. More cases of the new coronavirus variant and more travel restrictions. But the US President Joe Biden are just calm. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. The British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell goes on trial in New York. She's accused of trafficking underage girls for her former lover, Jeffrey Epstein. Now, the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell has started in New York, with the prosecution saying the former girlfriend of convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein preyed on vulnerable young girls, manipulated them and served them up to be sexually abused. Maxwell, who is 59, faces eight charges of sex trafficking and other offences. She's pleaded not guilty, and her defence say she's being made a scapegoat for Epstein's crimes. The disgraced financier took his own life when he was in jail in 2019. The man who founded the social media site Twitter, Jack Dorsey, is standing down as the CEO of the company. A replacement has already been announced and users are unlikely to see any big change in their micro-blogging activities. Mr Dorsey is now expected to concentrate his efforts on, an, on another of his projects. Documents seen by the BBC detail how Henan, China's third most populous province, is creating a facial recognition system that will flag up what are termed as people of concern. The documents reveal the system will scrape information from mobile phones, social media, hotel stays, vehicle details and photos. Foreign journalists, international students and migrant women are among those falling into the new traffic light system. Sweden's first female prime minister has been reappointed after she resigned within hours of taking the post last week. MPs backed Social Democratic Party leader Magdalena Andersson by a narrow margin in a new vote on Monday. She will attempt to lead a one-party government until an election in September next year. She stood down as PM last Wednesday after her coalition collapsed. And the Pentagon says it will reinforce U.S. military deployments and bases that are directed at China and Russia, following a review commissioned at the start of the Biden administration. It will focus on military facilities in Guam and Australia. An official said curbing military aggression from China was a priority. Good morning in sport. Messi dazzles in Paris after being voted the best player in the world for a record seventh time, collecting the prestigious men's Ballon d'Or award.